steam and how its forces can affect a pop can. Pressure can be seen all around us, in construction sites and even in sports. And don't forget, pressure is also used in power plants to make electricity and in tires in your car and in your bike. To understand the structural properties of a pop can, we have to understand what it's made out of. Pop cans are commonly made out of aluminum. And aluminum is a common metal that follows similar characteristics as other metals do, as can be seen in this stress strain diagram. As the change in deformation over the change in length increases, the metal will follow this diagram until eventually it deforms so much that it ruptures. All right, so we're ready to do the experiment now. But first, let's go through a bit of safety. As you can see, Carolyn and I are both wearing lab coats and eyewear to protect our eyes. We also got these tong looking things to lift the cans from the hot plate into the ice cold water. Now, Carolyn's going to explain all the parts of the experiment. So, for this experiment, we have three simple things. First is the hot plate set on high. We have some aluminum cans filled with a little bit of water. And we have this container filled with ice water. Are there penguins in there? Uh, yeah. But there's. Oh. Really? I know. Hey. Right. Should we get started? We should. Alright, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is put the cans on the hot plate. And now we're just going to wait them, wait for them to come to a boil, and we'll be right back when they're boiled. Now that the water inside the pop cans are boiling, we've created enough steam. Let's see what happens when we dump it upside down in the ice cold water. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Holy that was smokes. crazy! So when we boiled the water in the pop can, what happened was we created steam inside it. In the ideal case, there was just going to be steam inside the pop can, and a total of 355 milliliters of it, because that's how big your average pop can is. Now, when we dumped it into the cold water, not only did we seal the pop can, but the cold air rushed up inside the pop can and condensed the water that was inside. But because the number of H2O molecules doesn't change, the we were only able to create 0.2 milliliters of water. What does that mean? Well, we still have 355 milliliters to fill, but the rest is sort of filled by a vacuum, which is nothing. So now what happens is that we've got a vacuum inside, atmospheric pressure on the outside, and the atmosphere pushes in and crushes the pop can. And that's how the pop can was crushed. You thought things were spicy, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> this will spice things up a bit. Woo! <laughs> it's good every time. Every time. Unreal. <laughs>